And we're back, and I humbly present to you... Gila Monster! And here's another one for the X-Files, kids. I have no, no idea what the hell this thing is. It looks... I'm not sure what it looks like. It looks like the worms from Tremors, if you remember that movie. Here, let me get um, a little bit more up close and personal. If I can find them again. Ah, here we are. I have no idea what this guy is. He is some kind of worm-like thing. Like I said, reminds me of the critters in the movie Tremors, the giant wormy things with the with the uh, dune worm-like mouths and tentacles and all that. Good fun stuff. I like that movie. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, what do you even make of something like this? He seems to wander the slide in search of who knows what and proceed to eat it. That's about all I got on him. He has a fascinating gut structure. Surely to God this cannot be a single-celled organism. He's far too complicated for that. Um, <laughs> I have no clue. Some kind of a nematode, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> He's fascinating, though. Earlier, uh, yesterday in fact, I saw him in some kind of an egg-like structure. It was like he'd build a cyst around himself and was curled up in it. Now he's roaming free again. And watch now. See how see how objects are attracted to that mouth, front end, whatever? Um, my guess is he has a ciliated mouth that sweeps things towards it and uh, helps him to eat. Uh, it is quite an attractive pull by the front end there. I can't, at this point, determine what exactly he eats. I don't know, maybe bacteria. That would be my best guess. It's my only guess, really, because I haven't seen him consume anything larger. He's a big fella. He'd be quite easily capable of swallowing large, uh, larger items. But, hmm. And he's very transparent. You would be able to see it pretty easily if he did ingest them. I don't know what to make of his parts. I've seen him poop, I think. Ah, see now, he has an outer sheath that he can pull into like a turtle would. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've seen him take cover inside there for extended periods uh, due to... due to... Uh, trauma from impacts or water loss or that kind of thing. He also seems to have a following, but I can't really pin it down. You see all those little, maybe you can see them, all those little bacteria that seem to be tailing him. There you go. Um, not really sure about that, though, even. Can't be sure about much of anything with this fella. He's just, he's out there, dude. Totally X-Files. Anyway, there you are with that. And, uh, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this, got something out of it, and please, if anybody knows what the hell this thing is, let me know. I'd love to, uh, put a name to this really bizarre thing. Uh, look at all the bacteria swarming around his vicinity. I think they're attracted to him. And look at this! The heck is this? A chain of bacteria swimming with purpose. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, I wish I could get that pinned down. As soon as I change objective zone, I'm going to lose it. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> that's neat. That's a first. Moves like a Rubik's snake. If a, move, if a Rubik's snake could move, that's how it would move. Anyway, um, there you go. Hope you enjoy it, and as usual, see you next time. 
for more of the X-Files of Rune Laker Skull. Off we go.